crafty family. Look what I got. I got it all ready to play. Yay, my jelly plate. If you saw my last video, then you saw that I made a homemade jelly plate. And um, one thing I didn't show in the video was how thick it actually is. And if you could see, it's quite thick. And it is uh, three quarters of an inch. So it is a thick ass jelly plate. And that's good because it gives a lot of cushion for the pushing in it. I don't know. I just figure thicker the better maybe. But I figure three quarters of an inch, that's a really good size. Um, any thicker and it might have been weird. Any thinner and it would have been weird. <laughs> so um, yeah, it took me a long time today to get to this point where I can play because the problem is, and I had a, like a catastrophe happen, which might be dramatic, but whatever. Um, I, because my room is so, I'm so boxed in in here that I have like zero room to spread out in any way whatsoever. I mean, and I'm, I'm working on a large picnic table. That's what this is under here. It is a picnic table, a white picnic table. And it is large, but it is, I've got so much going on that I've got like very little space to work in, which creates an issue. And if, if, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm selling my house and so I can't move into a different room. Um, if I was actually going to stay here, I'd be moving into my master bedroom and that would be my craft room because I don't even sleep in there. Um, and it's just me and I generally sleep on the couch because it's more comfortable for my arthritis. So my master bedroom is pretty useless. And if it wasn't for the fact that we're selling the house and people are going to come look at the house and the set and the other, I would have moved into the master bedroom as my craft room because it is huge. My master bedroom is enormous. So it would have been perfect. Um, but I'm trying to sell my house. So I'm stuck in this room, which is like 11 by 12. And I've just got a lot. I mean, and I shouldn't be bitching at all because there's people out there that don't have a room, period. They have a craft table that they work on. So really, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I just shouldn't be, I shouldn't be complaining, honestly. I'm just, I just had a day because my, and the catastrophe I had was because I was trying to pull stuff out. I have a basin of hot water over here to put stencils in when I use them on my jelly plate so that they don't get all painty and yucky because I don't like that. Um, and when I was trying to pull something, I have like a little, like a cube thing above it where the basin is and I forgot the basin was there and I pulled something out and everything dumped into the basin of water and it wasn't things that should have been in water they were like tags and paper things and wood pieces and I'm thinking oh god so it took me like an hour to clean up this mess of all this like it's just never ending so yay me but finally I'm sitting down it's like eight o'clock at night and I mean I've literally been trying to do this video and sit and play with my jelly plate since like two o'clock this afternoon but yeah things don't happen the way I want them to really. <laughs> Not usually ever. So yeah. So yay. I'm so excited. I get to play with my jelly plate and yeah, we're going to play and have some fun and we're going to try some things because I've never used one before. So I got out like everything I could think of. I've got, which I don't think you could see over here. I've got all kinds of fun stuff that I just dumped onto my jelly plate because I forgot the bag was open. I've got like all kinds of fun stuff to play with. And so, yeah, we're going to have some fun. And um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. So I hope you saw the video where I made my jelly plate and, um, and watched that. And I hope that inspired you to go out and get the stuff or soon go out and get the stuff to you know, have a jelly plate. And this brayer, um, I haven't used it in years, like in like two years. And the reason being is because it was caked with Mod Podge that was dried on it. And I thought it was a goner, but you know, for a while, but then I realized I could probably soak it in water and it would be perfectly fine. And it's true. So if you have a brayer, especially like a rubber brayer, like this one's a real hard rubber brayer. I got this one a long time ago. And it's a great brayer, but um, it was so caked with stuff that it wouldn't have worked because it had like, it was very textured and it didn't have a smooth surface. So if you have a brayer that's like that, 
um, that, you know, just got caked with stuff. Soak it in hot, soapy water for hours, like a couple hours, and then, like, it'll just start peeling off. So you can take a little toothbrush and, like, scrub it off. And now it's, like, brand new. You would have never known that this was caked and caked and caked with layers and layers of Mod Podge. But Mod Podge is water, uh, water-based. So anything water-based, even acrylic paint, you can soak it. And if you soak it long enough, it's going to come off. So, I haven't gotten any paints out yet, but I've got some at the ready. I got some metallic purple, and let's see, metallic purple, and let's see, some pink. We could start with some fun colors like that, and some blues, and yeah, try to make something. I don't know what, but I think I'm just going to start playing, because I've watched a gazillion literally a gazillion videos on how to do the jelly plate. I've got all different types of paper. I got some copy paper I'm going to start off with. This is a spray bottle with water in it. It doesn't have argon oil in it. Not anymore anyway. Um, but I figure I just, we're going to start off with some copy paper so I can see what's what kind of. And I also have uh, stencils and all kinds of stuff. And so I figured we'll just play and see what happens. And I've got these things for making texture, which I might start out with some of those just to see how they work um, for good times. So maybe we'll do some of that first just to get some practice in. Does this sound good to you? Sounds good to me. So I hope you don't mind this video may be long. I don't know. Um... <laughs> and might have to do it in two parts. So I apologize if you get bored at any time. Go get something to eat. Snack out. Get your jelly plate out. And don't forget, this jelly plate is large. It is large marge. That's what we're calling it. This is large marge here because this is one hell of a jelly plate. It's 9 by 12, so it ain't no joke. So here we go. Our first play. Woohoo! Are we excited? Are we excited? I don't hear anybody. I'm hoping. Let's see if we can get some prints, baby. I like the colors already. They're really pretty. I'm trying to spread them out. I keep forgetting I have such a large plate that it's going to take quite a lot of paint to cover this sucker. And then I've got my drop sheet back here. And hopefully I'll remember it's there so that I can roll the paint off of my off my brayer and then let's make some texture how's that sound we can make some wiggly lines which it's probably hard to see them because it's hard for me to even see them but they're there I can promise you that and then go across with some of these suckers. Okay, so let's get a piece of paper and give it a try. We'll do a piece over here and then we'll take the remaining side because this is so big. This is a standard piece of, of copy paper right here. I don't care if I get paint on the back of it. I don't really care too much. I'm not too worried. So let's see what that looks like. Ooh, pretty. Look how pretty. And I've spread out behind me on the floor like a whole bunch of drop sheets so I can lay these on. Look at how cool that looks. And I didn't really even do anything. Look how awesome of a background that is. And I barely did anything. <laughs> I like, I just, yeah. I mean, how cool. And let's see, I even have, um, here, I can take the rest of this one and kind of pick up some of this paint. I might have to roll up my sleeves a little bit. And that's okay if the paint's a little bit, you know, dried on there because there's two ways to deal with that. What we can do is put some paint over top of it and it should reactivate that paint, hopefully. 
Let's do this and see what happens. Oh, already starting. We will slobber some of this on there. I don't have to go all the way to the edge completely, really, if I don't want to, because this thing is huge. I love it. There's a glob of paint. No globs. I can't wait to get my deco art stuff because that's going to be a blast right there. All right, and we're going to rub some of that off. And let's do some more crazy lines. Crazy lines. And we can throw some rubber bands on there to see what kind of texture we get. How cool is that? Throw some rubber bands and just make up as we go along. Fun times, fun times. Let's see. Big one on there. All right, now we'll lay this sucker on. Well, I'll lay it over here, and then I'll lay this one over hither. And then we could take the brayer, even because of the rubber bands, I'm going to to get some pressure on there. How cool is that? little one first. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. Are you ready? Ooh. Look at that. How cool is that? I love it. So exciting. I'll chuck these into the water. Wee. And try to get another print off of this. Because I think it looks groovy. If I can get these off fast enough before the paint dries. Actually, if you if you think your paint is dry, here's another trick. Give it a spritz of water. I learned that too. And then we can just go over it. And then I can clean this off real quick and pick some new colors. And I'm even going to take this and go whoop. <laughs> cool. Groovy. Ooh. Ooh, ah, it's like watching fireworks. Look at that. I'm loving it. What I'd like to do is put some texture in with this. This is a piece of that shelf liner stuff. So we'll put some of this on. We will put some of this apple color thing on. This is a gloopy one. And we will throw some yeller. That'll be bright and cheery. Okay, let's see how that works out, shall we, boys and girls? I'll pick some of the teal up off of my thing, too. Ooh, that's nice and bright, ain't it? How pretty. That's so bright and pretty and cheery. I need to pull my sleeves up. They're falling down. I should have worn my short sleeve shirt because I'm going to get hot super fast because of all of this. Whenever I'm doing something, I usually start to get boiling hot. Okay, so there's that. Let's put some onto the... Wipe this off a little bit. Because it gets paint around the edges and then it starts to come off on your project. I do more cleaning than I do anything else just because I can't stand it. 
I'm one of the weird ones. Most artists are like, you know, they're really messy with their stuff. And, you know, and I, and I, I, I wish so bad that I can do that because then it would be so much more freeing, but I just can't. I'm incapable. So I'd like to just go through and press some of this in. Just like that. That looks fun. You probably can't see it where you're at, but it's there. I promise. Okay. And then we can, what do I do with them? I've got butterflies that we can put down. Plus, I've got puzzle pieces that we can put down and I figure that might make a fun print for a couple of those envelopes know what I'm saying so I'll do that and then I'll do that and they're a little wet because <laughs> part of the water that made a mess earlier that I was telling you about yeah, that kind of splashed all over the paper that I wanted to use for this stuff. So yeah, it was very interesting. <laughs> I had a quite a flood. Well, that's being dramatic too. It wasn't quite a flood. It was just a mess. It was just plain and simple, a freaking mess. All right, are we ready? Oh, cool. Look at that. Neat. So exciting. Ready? <gasps> Yay! Look at these are so nice for fall. They're awesome. Yay! I'm gonna put those behind me on the paper so they're out of the way. Okay, and now if we pick up the puzzle pieces and lay them down over there and pick up the butterflies. We should be able to get another cool print. Should. Let's see. I'm going to do this paper. This the center area. Groovy, 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 groovy. Love it. And then we could do another envelope of just this stuff. Cool. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. Very exciting. Ready? And alley oop. Cool. I love it. So pretty. All right, we're going to clean it off again. What else can we do? How about some stencils? Woohoo! Um, I'm going to get some more paint colors. I like these kind of colors, and I'll probably stick mostly to those and then some metallics. Okay, so I've got a plethora of paint, as you can see. I'm rolling up my sleeves, and we're getting down to freaking business here. And I've got stencils. I have got some stencils. I've got these cool skulls that I'm dying to use, and I want to use some metallics with these guys. So we're going to get to that now. I'm going to put these on the ground. I've got some skulls, and I've got some... Uh, um, gears and such and so forth. I'm trying to make sure I have enough paper and envelopes and stuff. I've got some uh, rice paper that I cut up to do stuff with. I'm going to do another copy paper one. So yeah, let's do some metallics. 
hex to the yeah, metallics and glitters. I wonder how much my jelly plate's going to like glitters, though. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. Hmm, I've never heard anybody say that you couldn't use glitter. So I'm going to do a test spot just to be on the safe side. Because I don't want to ruin my jelly plate because I used some metallic or some glitters that might embed themselves into my thing. So I want to make sure that they can be cleaned off. So I'm going to get this page here that I already did. I'm going to make sure that they're not going to get ruined. They don't show up that much anyway. And let's see. I can wipe them off. Yeah, they seem to be wiped. They seem to wipe off okay. All right. They should be okay as long as I don't let them sit. I think they'll be fine. Okay. So, let's do some metallic. I've got some black sparkle too. So, we'll do some metallics. We'll do some metallics. Metallic bronze. Metallic silver. And shut up. And we'll add in some of the glitter. And we'll add in some of the black glitter. Because you know I like me some glitter. We'll even add in some of this metallic blue just for, you know, craps and giggles. And we'll see what happens next. Let's just see what happens. It's a secret. Don't tell anybody. Did you tell? I knew it. You told somebody. Can't be trusted. So this looks pretty interesting. The metallic paints don't spread as nicely, I'm noticing. Like there's a big glob of it there. <laughs> I physically have to move it with my finger to get it to spread out. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. I really am. Okay. I'm just going to clean off my brayer so it don't get too gloppy again and contaminate everything I do. So I'm going to put down two skulls. I've got this sombrero skull, which is pretty badass. And then I've got this guy here. I'm going to take a piece of copy paper. And they're just going to fit on there. That one's kind of off, but that's okay. We're going to... That's okay. I'm okay with that. Are you okay with that? Because I'm okay with that. Let's So exciting. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Yay, look how cool that is. I love it. Yay, I'm so excited. Now what's cool is, but first I need some paper. And I think I'm like out of paper too. Hold the, hold the phone. I'm out of copy paper. Not anymore. Got me a stack. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, and you're not going to be able to really see this because i got to do it on my lap. I've got my trusty little thing here. Um, I'm going to take these. I'm going to put them onto a piece of paper. Like i got a stack of paper. I'm going to put them down here. I'm going to put this on top, and then I'm going to rub it with the brayer so that I get this print on here. You see what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm putting down so that this way it doesn't get all over my brayer which now I don't know what I did with. There it is. See what I mean? I have no room. But I have to do this on my lap, unfortunately, because mama ain't got no room. Okay. I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll do the print on there. Which actually, I'll take a piece of paper and put it on here, which I think I should have went over on that side. And then I've got that print. I don't know if you could see the skulls there. And then I'm going to take this side and catch what's on here. 
like so. Very cool. And then we've got this guy. We got this guy. Ooh, look how pretty. Can't really see the skulls, but it's beautiful background. Beautiful. Butamus. Butamus, butamus, butamus. Okay, so now we are going to clean this off. Let's do some metallic, some of that metallic blue because it was so pretty. We'll do some metallic blue. It's got like a clump. Get out of there. Oh, I made an S. I didn't even intend to do that. And we'll put some of this blue. Ew. Well, that sounded interesting. Excuse me. And then we're going to put some of this cream color a little bit and see what we get. And I'm not going to worry about going all the way to the edge since not one of these papers is big enough right now. So that just gives me less mess to clean up if I don't go by the edge too much. Makes it easy squeezy, which I went by the edge anyway. Ooh, that's a pretty pattern right there. That's purdy. That is certainly purdy. Okay, so now we've got this print, and I would like to do, I would like to see about taking a piece of tool and laying it across and seeing what happens when you lay it across. And use the rice paper. I've got two pieces somewhere. There we go. We could probably do two prints. I can do one there. And do one here and do the other half something else. And we could just see what happens if we do this. It might be pretty. It might be stupid. It might be exciting. It might be worthy of an award for the best jelly print on the planet as I knock things over. All right, let's do the little one first. Ooh, it did give it a cool texture. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, I can definitely see it. It's pretty cool. And let's see this one. Ooh, 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 it's pretty. I definitely like the metallics. And I like the white in there, the, the ivory. Really pretty, really, really pretty. Super pretty. All right, we need to find a place for it. All right, I'm going to take the other half of this and I'm going to try to get it printed. Or at least somewhat. All right, maybe we have to take this off and then try it. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. All right, and there's enough paint on there to wet down with some spray. And probably get a halfway decent print out of it. Don't you think? Usually the second print is the nicest. Ooh, that's nice too. All right. And we can take some of that on there. And take some of that on there. There we go. Nice. made a face. <laughs> dark and then we'll use some dark blue. I was hoping I had a metallic purple and I could have sworn that I did have a metallic purple but apparently that's not the case. I don't know why I don't have a metallic purple. 
we will use the silver metallic because I think that'll be cool. I think it'll be cool. I definitely think it'll be cool. Yeah. That looks nifty, doesn't it? That's some coolness right there. What I'd like to do, if I can get to them and find them, because they're buried over here now. There they are. I'd like to get the gears out and play with a couple of those. Like so. And do like a couple of gear patterns. Okay, that sounds good to me. What do you think? Let me do this big envelope because I may be using this for a journal, an upcoming like junk journal. So I'd like to do that. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's gonna that's okay. I'll probably print on that side too or cover it or something. How cool is that? Do the big reveal. <gasps> Ooh, isn't that awesome? Awesome sauce. Love it, love it, love it. Because then I can doodle inside of the things. How cool. I'm so excited. And then these are going to be painted, which will be awesome. Look at that. That's freaking badass, isn't it? Look at that. How cool is that? They are painted for me. I love it. I love that they're already painted for me. That is so cool. And they're perfect. They're just perfect. Oh, I couldn't have painted those better if I tried. Heck yeah, man. And do this. how cool that is. Now that is an awesome print. That is awesome. Awesome. And then we will take something else. Actually, I could probably stick my hand in here and get, heck yeah, and get some of this to pull off. <laughs> cool. Cool. At least it's got color on it. That's all that matters. Then I can go over it with something else. As I knock things over. Sweet! Look at that. I love it. Oh, I love this though. I just love this. So cool. So cool. Alright. Now we are going to add more purple and the same colors. Or similar colors. Because I really like those colors and I want to do... I want to add like, I don't know, I want to do something pretty cool. And since I'm doing the same colors, I'm not going to worry about cleaning off this who's a mawatsa until I'm ready to change colors completely. And we did the silver. I really like adding that in with just the paint itself. And let's add in some glitter. Not a bubble, glitter. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. We're just gonna we're gonna move that over here. Ew. <laughs> it came out in a glob. Very globby. Okay. No big deal. And then some black glitter. What else? 
We can add in some Metallica blue. This is going to be a fun one. Good times. Oh, yeah. There's so much paint on here. It was splattering at me. It was like... <sniffs> Let's see. What are we going to do here? Anywhere you're seeing like blank spots, it's not actually blank spots. It's the glitter. Oh, wow. This is going to be a good one. What am I doing? Okay. Rub that off on there. And some of it on here. Oh, whoops. Hold on. I'm trying. Shut up. I cannot wait to have a different camera. Seriously. It's got to be a joke. All right. I've got some cardstock, which I'd like to make some cardstock. And I'd like to just do some designs in here. Here's some kind of cool, like, get off of there, jaggedy lines. Which I don't know if it comes up as jaggedy lines on here. And let's see, do we want to add some mesh? Some mesh would be meshy. Very meshy. Ah. <laughs> They're all metallic. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. And a couple more rubber bands to add into the mix to make things very interesting. And that one's like curling up. All right, let's see what happens when you add. What happened to the cardstock that I had here, folks? Actually, screw the cardstock. We are going to do some dictionary pages. I forgot all about these guys. We are going to do one here and one here. I want to do a few of these. All right, where's my brayer? Again, I've lost it. That mesh stuff was not very flat. So I don't know how this is going to turn out because it was, I don't have a good mesh stuff. I have to find something else that I can use in its place eventually. Okay, let's pull these up and see. Oh, that looks nice. Nicey, nicey. And then this one. Ooh, that one looks cool, like snakeskin. Very cool. Loving it. I wonder if I can get another pull, like right here, of the pattern on the dictionary paper. That does weird things. Cool. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, I've got paper all over me, like all around me. All right, now I'm going to take this, throw it into the water. Take these and throw them into the water. And see if I can't find my, clean off my hands. And I think we're going to do a couple more of these. And then I'm going to stop for today since... Oh, there's two pages there. Since this video is getting really long. And you guys are probably like, what the heck? And I am getting tired of this. And I'm running out of room because I have papers. And they are all around me on the floor. And I can't even get up and walk out of here. Like, that's going to be interesting. Okay, let's see how this becomes of itself. Ooh, nice. And I'm going to try to get some of this just to get these edges that I missed. Very cool. That worked out well. Put that there. And then we've got this one. Ooh, don't rip. Ooh, look at that. 
Look how pretty. So exciting. Very, very frightening. Now I've got this paper that I can go in and try to pick up some of those cool colors. And it does. Very cool. And then we're going to clean it off. And I'm going to do a couple more pulls for dictionary pages, and then we're going to call it a day. But I want to use different colors. So that means, boys and girls, we need to clean it off again. A tip about cleaning this off with the water. You want to add a lot of, you know, don't be stingy with the water. Because you want your rag to glide across it. You don't want it to be, like, pulling on it so that the possibility is that you can rip it. So don't be afraid to throw, you know, um, you don't need to puddle it necessarily, but you know what I mean? Like make sure that it's so that it's gliding like that and not being like, because you don't want to end up ripping it. All right, I've got a metallic, it's a red, but I am going to, it looks pink to me and I'm hoping it's pink because I really want pink. I don't really, it is pink. I don't know why it says red. It is totally pink. I don't know what it's coming up on on the camera, but yeah, that's pink. And that's what I wanted because I wanted to do some cool metallic-y colors with different pinks. Because, uh, hello, I love pink. Yes, and that's making all kinds of noises. Let's see, what else do I have? Uh, metallic silver, a little bit of that add in there. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Pretty. And I might do, whoops, wrong way. I might do a stencil. Trying to think of what stencil I would do. I have like a doily one. That's pretty nice. Back it up. Back it up, boys and girls paint would like. Too close for comfort. I've got this doily pattern which I could throw here. And then I've got this clock pattern that I can throw there. How cool is that? And now we can do some more dictionary pages because I really like the dictionary pages. Oh, stop it. I like the dictionary pages. They're one of my favorites right now. And I'm going to be doing a video on um, some things that you can do with dictionary pages and with a dictionary period, like just things you could do, because right now I'm having a lot of fun playing with dictionary pages, and I think everybody should. So if you have an old dictionary that you can get a hold of, I mean, nobody really uses dictionaries because they have the intranets, and so get it out and get ready for some, some fun things. Ooh, look at that. How pretty. Very pretty. Now I got to start putting stuff up here. <laughs> I have no room. Pretty. I like that with the, you could still see the words coming through. How cool. Okay, now I'm just going to take paper and make prints of this mess. And then we'll pretty much be done. And I will try and show you what I've done. I will let them dry a few minutes and then I'll show you at the end what we've made together. Ooh, pretty. These are going to be such fun backgrounds. Heck to the yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. i got to lay it up here. I have nowhere else to put it. And then I've got to find my spray bottle because I'm going to give this a quick spritz. And we're going to lay some more paper on it. I have another dictionary sheet. And I have another two dictionary sheets. 
but I will just use one. try to again get some more on here and I'm going to take it and put some more on here let that sink in get nice and wet <laughs> That's a nice background right there. Oh, chisel. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, most definitely. Yeah. I likes it. Mikey likes it a lot. You know, my name is not Mikey. Okay, so I literally have no more room. It's a disaster in here. Um, so I'm going to clean this up. I am going to try to let these dry and then I'm going to come back for the end of the video and show you what we have made. And I'm sorry if there's something I didn't do that you wanted to see next time. Next time for sure. And what I want you to do is put in the comments what you want me to use next time. Because I did pull out a lot more stuff. I just didn't have time to use it. I had a blast. This was so much fun. All right, I will be back in a minute. Hey, friends. Okay, so you want to see everything that was made with the jelly plate. Well, my favorite thing is this. These are my favorite. I think these came out so awesome. These little gears, I wish I would have done more of them. They're just amazing. I love the color. I love the fact that they're metallic-y. And they're just my favorite. I love this. These were awesome. Yay! These are going to be fun to use. So those. And then, of course, the butterflies have some paint on them. They're not as impressive, but I can always do them again. So there's those. Then we've got the envelope. This is what helped create these fabulous gears. And I think it came out amazing. I love it so much. And then there was this sheet with, you could see the gears on. It's very metallic -y and pretty. I love the colors. And then we've got this was just like I rolled stuff on it, but this is going to be fun to use for punches and all kinds of stuff or just a background starter. Um, and then there's this, which was a dictionary page. It's got glitter. I don't know if you can see all the glittery goodness on there. Glitter, metallic, all kinds of pretty stuff. And then here's another one with some more metallics and pink. And here's another one with metallics. And this was from the clock stencil and then the doily stencil. I think that came out cool. And then this one, which looks like snakeskin, it's really cool. I love this one. And same with this one, more glitter and more metallics. Very cool. And this one's the rest of the doily one. And then here's our cool, I love the color combination. It's like blue and like copper. It's so pretty, or bronze, I should say. It's so pretty and shiny. And then here's like the runoff of the of that one. Love it. This is just a this was just a cleanup piece, so that one's not very impressive. And then there's this one, which is very metallic and very textured and pretty. And this was the rice paper. And then here's another dictionary page. I love the dictionary pages the most. I think they're awesome and I plan on doing lots more of them because they're so much fun. 
because you can see the words behind them and all that. And then there's this one. They make great backgrounds. And then there's this one, which has some of the runoff of the doilies on there, which is very cool. And then there's this one, another one with the blues, purples, and the gold um, glitter. And then there's this one. I absolutely love this one. This is a fantastic background page. I cannot wait to use this because it's so awesome. The colors are just amazing. And then another one of this one. And then here's one of the envelopes, which is cute. I love it. It's adorable. I love the colors. They're very neon and they're very pretty. And they're bright and cheery and happy. And then here's the other envelope. This one I actually got the flap done. I love it. Here's a page that I just did some random things. I put some from that on there and some of the that and some from that. Like three different jelly plate sessions or paints full of stuff. Just all on that one. And then here's another envelope. Very cool. And here's another with the pink and metallics. Very cool. And then here is the blues and pinks and purples, which I love. I, I don't think there was one that I didn't like. I absolutely loved all of them. This is like the cream and the blue with the metallic. Love it. I love this with the rubber bands. I think that's so fun. And then here again with the rubber bands. And then you could see the purple metallic peeking behind it, which looks really badass. And then there's lastly this one here which I love. I think this is awesome. I love the colors. And then of course, over here, um, let's see if I could show you. There is, this is the where I rolled off on. I will hold on to this sheet and I will continue to use it every time and just move it over so that I get more spots. And then eventually I will have a really cool, um, what do you call it? A really cool uh, you know, drop paper. What I can do with these is put them inside the envelope. So this will be my first batch of my using my new jelly plate, which I'm so excited that I got to do. And I hope you guys enjoyed the videos and, um, and you know, and, and I encourage you to make uh, your own jelly plate, please. And if you do, please let me know your experience. Please share with me any videos or pictures of you making prints and show me your prints. And, you know, I think it'll be a lot of fun. And, you know, I'd love to see all you guys' prints. I think it would be great, you know. Maybe we can, like, trade prints and stuff and have, like, fun stuff like that. So, absolutely, make sure you share. Um, share this with your friends too, this video, uh, and the video on how to make it, on how to make the jelly plate, share it, share it with people so that they know how to do it and they, you know, cause I know there's other videos out there too, but, um, I tried to be as informative as possible so that it would be awesome and that you guys would get a lot of information out of it. And I hope, yeah, I hope you did. I hope you were able to follow it and everything was cool. So anyway. It was fun. I had a blast. It was so much fun playing with that. I would love to do it again, but oh my God, the mess that it made because I had to put papers everywhere. Like literally my entire floor behind me and on the sides of me were covered with every one of these papers and stuff, drying them out. And so, yeah, I made quite a mess, but it was worth it. I had a blast. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me when I do things like that and I play. It's some of my favorite things to do is to just sit and play. And I'm glad you guys are around for it. So much fun. And um, I'm gonna, I still have to clean up my stencils. They're in the water. I cleaned up everything behind me and on the floor, but I still got to clean my stencils. So I'm going to go do that. Um, so yeah, so let me know, give me a thumbs up on this video and on the one where I show you how to make the jelly print. If you enjoyed them, give me thumbs up, share them, you know, have fun. Let me know your stories with your jelly plate. Do you own a jelly plate that's the original jelly plate or have you made your own? What was your experience? Did you do it differently? If you haven't made one yet, do you plan on making one? Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But yeah, and if you, you know, if you did sheets, you know, let me know what you do with your jelly plate. Like, what's some fun things to do so that I know for next time? You know, like, what's your technique that you love to do? Is it stencils or is it something else or is it some this or that? Share that with me, please, because I would love to have some fresh ideas on what to do because this is all new to me. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and make sure you do what you love, love what you do, and love and 
or love and be nice to everybody. Love you guys. Mwah. Have a great week.